Hello, good afternoon and welcome to Tele Isla's news with the most important news of the day. The local government indicated by next Aga several of the restrictions currently in place will be lifted. More details will follow. The governor of the archipelago department announced that once the community of the island is immunized after the second campaign of mass vaccination, the departmental government plans to open all economic activities in the department. Once we have the second dose, we will reopen all economic activities, but we are going to make an evaluation, which is that in the case of discotheques, restaurants or establishments, cinemas, churches and others, we can have all the people vaccinated and create a special card to control the crowds so that there is no longer a risk. The fact that we are vaccinated with first and second dose or single dose does not mean that we are not still at risk for contagion. The governor emphasized that to achieve the lifting of all restrictive measures, the community must apply their second dose against COVID-19. As additional data during the first campaign of mass vaccination, 20,550 vaccines were applied. For the second campaign, it is expected that 33,000 people will be immunized, including those who will receive their second dose and those who will be immunized for the first time. An increase in the value of fuel has been evidenced in the country and therefore in the department. A situation that worries the community as the economic situation is becoming increasingly difficult. The price of fuel in the country has been increasing, reaching values for up to two years ago that would be more than 3,000 pesos per gallon. According to the Ministry of Energy, the costs of this increase are due to the increase of the international price of fuel which was in a range below the average of the two last years and the increase in the representative market rate which has been reaching historic heights today it is 3,796 pesos it is also worth mentioning that san andres is a beneficiary of the subsidy to the petroleum liquid gas cylinder which allows the final users to have a lower price this subsidy is up to 50 percent for stratum one users and up to 40 percent for stratum two users however speaking with some inhabitants of the island they say that the large increase in the price of the fuel is notorious yes the truth is that we have noticed the increase in gasoline and we now realize that it is going up more and more before we used to fill up with less money we used to fill up with 12,000 and now it's up to 15,000 well it gives you less it's not that at the pump they give you less but obviously for the same amount they give you less but it's not that it is on purpose. It's just that you used to see that 10,000 lasted several days and now it lasts less days. The truth is that it does because in the past, what you used to put in the gas tank will last a little longer, but lately it does not last longer. One is left stranded at any moment. According to the community's version, the difference is not much, but the increase of fuel has been felt in the department. We went to Guinea Hen 6 stage where the residents complain about the sewage system that has been overflowing for the last 15 days. Isela, tell us about this situation. The inhabitants of Guinea Hen 60H have had a sewage overflow problem for more than 15 days, where after trying to connect a sewage system, the sewage began to flood the avenue. An inhabitant of this community shares some information about the problem. Veolia, because they have not cleaned the manholes and the accident that happened with the lady who wanted to connect her well to the sewer, but it was full, so the sewage is spilling and they have not been able to evacuate it. We have trouble breathing because it is affecting us and we cannot breathe fresh air due to the odors. In response to the complaints from the community of Guinea Hen 60H, the Secretary of Infrastructure indicated what is being done through his portfolio. Those who break the streets are being sanctioned. For those who dump sewage, we are seeking help from the Attorney General's office and the community to know which are the sites. On the other hand, we will continue cleaning up because we have two situations due to the hurricane season and the rainy season, and all the channels on the island are clogged. We have already unclogged several, but we will continue working on it. 
The Secretary of Infrastructure indicated that they will continue with the work in the different sectors affected by the sewage and will meet with the community and contractors for their benefit. The Ministry of ICT announced that there are already active teachers from official schools selected to be part of the Ruta STEM 2021 program, which will train them free of charge and virtually on different topics related to this approach. From San Andres, it was revealed that four teachers were admitted for training with Ruta STEM 2021, divided into two women and two men from four educational institutions. This call seeks to strengthen the knowledge and skills of teachers in science, technology, and mathematics, taking into account the need for students in public schools to learn to be passionate about giving profitable, innovative, and scientific use technology from the classroom. We insist on the importance of this type of initiative for all regions of the country, among which we highlight the participation of 14 teachers in San Andres, who have been present in the training in 2020 as part of the 2021 edition. With this, our educational communities of the island demonstrate their commitment to becoming the teachers of the 21st century that children and young people need. The final objective of this project is for teachers to teach 150,000 students in public institutions under this approach and have greater employability possibilities after an investment of more than 3,106 million pesos made by the ICT ministry for this purpose. And this news is for all those people who are looking for work. There are 100 vacancies available in the Public Employment Agency of Sena San Andres. If you are looking for a job opportunity or interest in receiving a job offer that fits your profile, this information is for your interest. The Sena San Andres Trotis Director Lorena Aldana invites you to apply for the 100 vacancy available in the Public Employment Agency of the entity. We want to invite the entire community to take advantage of these positions that are available at different levels of training, professional, technical, technologies, operator, and auxiliary. So those who are interested and who have been affected by the pandemic and have lost their jobs can take advantage of these positions. ap.sena.edu.co is the application through which you can postulate and apply for the positions that are available, as well as their networks where they have provided a link where you can also apply. Similarly, Aldana took advantage of the space to announce that on July 28th and 29th, there will be an in-person job fair where counseling and support will be provided to connect companies with job seekers. And we continue with more news. The Secretariat of Social Development invites the community to verify their data to find out if they are enrolled in the program Familias en Acción. Good evening, Lisa and all the TV viewers. We want to tell you that we talked to the Secretary of Social Development, Carlos Arturo Fontalvo, who told us that he wants to send a message to all the people who are inscribed in the program of Familias en Acción. The invitation is to come to the departmental government office to know if they are inscribed and also to make an actualization of all the data that is in this program. Prosperidad Nacional en Articulación. Social prosperity in coordination with the departmental government headed by Everett Harkins and the Secretariat of Social development we are inviting the entire community to come to our facilities and verify if they are beneficiaries of these incentives of the national government in the list that they sent us once we have verified this information we are going to make the inscriptions in the facilities of Kahasai from the 1st of July they need to take the ID card of the holder and the beneficiaries photocopy enlarged to 150 and if it is a baby must attach the civil registry Currently in the island, there are 2,572 persons inscribed in this program. And with all this news that they're going to give us today, they want to get to 500 people more. This is all the information we report from here. From the town of the island, continue Lisa in studio with more information. Thank you, Alice. And in other news, the COVID-19 vaccination coordinator, Jokoama J, provided information regarding the tour that was taken through this week in the specific sector of the hill. These are the facts. In the course of this week, we have developed a house-to-house -house sweep in the sector of the hill, applying COVID vaccination, inviting people who have not received the first dose so we can achieve the goal of having herd immunity. The repeated requests from the island's health authorities for people on the island to receive the first dose of the vaccine against the coronavirus is due to the low number of vaccination in San Andres. The figures of COVID on the island continue with a downward trend, taking into account that yesterday the new infections were of eight people that are added within the 6,554 total cases of the island. 
And now let's get to know other facts that are making news in our briefing sections of today. the slogan no flower without plastic the Coralina Environmental Corporation is providing training to employees of the commercial establishments of resolution 283 which is in compliance with law 1973 which regulates and prohibits the marketing and use of plastic bags during the activity merchants were informed of the prohibitions and exceptions of the new law as an effective protection measure to reduce the contagions by COVID-19, the Tourism Protection Group of the National Police deployed an awareness campaign on the proper use of face masks, where through elusive messages and banners, tourists and residents are called to use this element of protection. The Subcommittee of Public Space and the Departmental Police advanced on the socialization of Ordinance No. 009 of 2019 by which the public space is regulated for its use in order to publicize the requirements and conditions for the economic use of public space in the island territory. During the activity, traders were invited to comply and perform in a rational manner the occupation in the areas of public space that are allowed to be used. Now we continue with the weather forecast. The weather forecast for today, July 16, in the coastal area, upper archipelago, the sky is mainly sunny. Temperature is 29 degrees Celsius, with winds from the northeast direction, with intensities of 21 km per hour. Humidity forecast is of 67% and probability of precipitation is of 20%.